Hey Erica, I'm going to show you how to attach a rubric to your assignment. So I'm in your English course. I'm just going to click Assignments. Over on the right, I'm going to add an assignment. I'm going to title this um, Practice. And then you would type whatever directions you have here. For now, um, you could type your points as well. <clears throat> For now, though, you're going to leave it online. Don't do the turn it in yet, okay? And you can set up anything else you want to set up, but when you're done, you need to hit save. Oh, it's going to make me pick, sorry. Save. Once you've saved, then you're going to see the add rubric sign. So go ahead and click it. If you've already created a rubric, you can click find a rubric and then you know choose whichever one. You're going to need to scroll down. Notice it doesn't say anything about using it, but if you scroll down, you'll see use this rubric. You can also, there was a spot to change courses over there. So now you're going to see a rubric. It's important, though, that you hit edit. Come down here and choose use this rubric for assignment grading. This is what's going to add up the points for you. If you don't click this, then you have to do all the math yourself and type in the score. So I like the computer to do all the work. So click that little box, say update rubric. Oh, my rubric points and the assignment points are different. So I'm going to go ahead and say change them so they match. So now your rubric's 15 points and the assignment is worth 15 points. Okay, now you've got your rubric attached. Now you're going to go back and edit the assignment. And now you can do your external tool. I'm not really sure why you have to add the rubric before you add. Oops, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. My dog started barking. Okay, so I'm not really sure why you have to do the rubric before the external tool, but it is what it is. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to change it to external tool. Now I'm going to attach the Turnitin tool. Say select. All right, and now I can come down here and save, or if I'm ready for students, I can hit save and publish. All right, so that's how you're going to add a rubric to your assignment.